It's me. Okay. So we're trying not only something new today, but we're also trying something new today. First things first, I'm the realist. Second things first, I've heard that my sound quality in these videos are is a little on the low side, so I'm going to try to bump that heat up. Second off, third, third, third off, we're going to be playing a little Magic the Gathering Arena. And, and look, I know, a lot of your favorite streamers have been playing a little too much Magic, and you're like, please, step back. Well... I'm here to say I'm going to be uploading a video a day. So if this isn't for you, there's plenty more coming on the way. Fifth things fourth, I'm recovering from a bit of a sickness. So if uh, my voice is a little off, I apologize. I still have a canker sore, which I get from getting sick. It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Anyways. I, I've never done a draft before. I've been saving up all my gold for this very moment. So, mercy, mercy, me a mercy, a lago. Let's hop right in there. Holy shit, that was pretty loud, huh? Audio. Just want to make sure the sound is A-OK. -okay. Holy shit. I don't even know what you do with this. Okay, so one second, I'm gonna test the sound real quick. A Lamau, we're back. All right, it sounds good. Sounds good to me. So again, like I said, I, I've never done a draft before. I've watched a few drafts. <laughs> uh, I know pretty much everything I've seen. You pick. A really really good first card and then build around it I'm a little nervous to be going black red and green it seems a little scary you may cast historic spells this seems really good but we would have to get historic spells we could roll white blue but I feel like people are gonna want something spicy and this is freaking spicy there bud if Daragaz reincarnated would die instead it exile it with three egg counters on it at the beginning of your upkeep, if Daragaz is exiled with an egg counter on it, remove an egg counter from it. Then if Daragaz has no egg counters on it, return it to the battlefield. So, if it dies, after three turns, it returns. I see. Holy shit, that was loud. Why you gotta why you gotta be like that? Okay. So we got Dara Gods reincarnated as you can tell by him yelling in our flipping ear. So we're looking at black, red, and green. Okay. We might need something like this. Right? Because we want mana. This is also pretty good. This is actually, this is just like Swipe from Hirstan. Goblin Warchief, Goblin Spells, eh, I'm not, not really sure with the Goblin. Exile tar target creature, put two loyalty counters on a Planeswalker you control? I don't know if we're gonna, this could be good, but we don't really have a Planeswalker yet. Short Sword. Okay, so I'm thinking, Right now, I'm thinking Lana War Envoy because it's any mana. Add one mana of any color. But Eviscerate seems just like really good. I don't. I don't know. I'm feeling like you go Eviscerate. Just having like a straight up. But isn't this just a worse murder? This is what I mean. I, I don't 
I don't know what's good. This just just seems like because murder is oh this could be as weird as it is murder is two black and one regular mana I believe or maybe two black two regular the reason why this would be better is because it's three of anything and one black so we'd only need one black if if you catch what I'm saying I think maybe we'll go with the best rate ooh. Return your hand, all creature cards your graveyard that were put there from anywhere this turn. Other creatures you control have haste. God damn. I don't know, boys. Divest. That seems pretty good. I mean, obviously, I'm thinking you go garner the blood flame. Okay, let's see. Maybe we get something a little cheaper here. Black, red, and green. Search your library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle your library if the spell is kicked. Oh, I mean, you gotta go with this, right? It allows your things to get out faster. Sure. So, again, if you guys are new here to playing Magic the Gathering, what this is, is you get three packages of 15 cards each you pass them to another player and you pick a card from each pack something like that and then eventually you'll end up getting about 60 cards probably and you, you have to cut them down to a, a deck of 40 it's a it's a pretty steep pay in 5,000 gold is no joke you can also pay in with gems which you can purchase for real money but it is a free to play game and this is my first experience with magic gathering at all but like I never played Magic the Gathering besides the arena or besides this game which is Magic the Gathering arena Arbor Armament Thalid Omnivore huh we could get Sapperlinked because we are running black green so that'll filter two plus one plus one counters on it so it's a it's a one one which can turn into a 3-3 three, three for 4. That seems a little weird. This, I, I remember somebody playing this, and this seems pretty decent. But I don't know about that, actually. It does half my life t total rounded up. And it deals X damage to me. Well, I, I don't know about that one, but... Gains indestructible. Hold on. If you tap it. Oh, so it just means basically it's like a weird hex proof. Because if you tap it, it can't defend or attack, right? So you tap it if it gets targeted by an ability. I don't know. That doesn't seem very good to me personally. So remember black, green, tr destroy target land up to two creatures can't block. This turn. This seems pretty fucking broken if I'm being honest. I can destroy the enemy's land and cause two of them to not be able to block. So right now, the, the three I'm thinking of, maybe four, I'm thinking of Stronghold, Thalid Seismic, Arbor. I'm leaning towards Thalid because it does have synergy. Not yet, but it does have synergy with a green deck. But we are running a little uh, high in mana cost right now. No, no, no. Um, Cabal. Do we have any historic spells? No, not quite. Too expensive. We were looking at this earlier. This seems not too bad, right? Maybe. Mammoth Spider. I don't know about that one. Black. Red, green. Let's just, I think you just go with Stronghold Confessor. If you get it later, with the amount of land we're going to be pumping out, if we get it later, it'll be good. If we get it early, it'll be good. Uh, okay. Hmm.
Man, we are going to make the worst deck in the history of Magic, and I am sorry for this. I'm looking, right now I'm looking at Warlord's Fury. This seems pretty decent. It's it's a one mana cost at least draw a card. That seems just really good. If that spell was kicked, it gains mana. Do we have any kicked spells? We got one kicked spell. Possible. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put two of them in your hand and the other one in your graveyard. Dark Bargain deals two damage. I've seen this played. It seems okay. This is just too big, I'm going to be honest. Corrosive ooze blocks or become blocked. Destroy all equipment to catch the creature. Uh-huh. Untap target creature against 2-2. Oh, yeah. Gift growth seems pretty good. But so does corrosive ooze. I feel like we might need smaller creatures. Instead of so many buffs, right? But Dark Bargain is also pretty nice. Sure, we'll go... We'll go Ooze, I suppose. I suppose. First Strike in Haste versus... If it was kicked, they discard. Dark Bargain, Feral Abomination. I don't know, Fervent Strike seems pretty good. Run amok. Radiating lightning. Ah. Lawn of War Envoy. We gotta get those manas. I like that. If you control another wizard. If we have two wizards, I'll do it. It's not looking like it. Oh, we got one wizard. No, that's a warrior. From your hand on... Broken Bond seems pretty spicy. Put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Fuck it. I'll just stay down here and do hair. When enchanted creature dies, return that card to the owner's hand. Menace must be blocked if able. Sure. We're looking like, in my opinion, we stall out. We need more, we need more men. We stall out until we get our big boys. No, not sideboard. How do you check the, no, no, no. I want to see like my mana and all that stuff. I don't know how to do that. Okay, whatever, it's fine. Rat colony or seismic shift. Let's go seismic shift. I don't know about the rat colony. All right, we're opening up pack two. Put up to one target creature a planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Destroy up to one target creature a planeswalker exile, exile yog moss vile offering. Hmm. I've seen this used and it's pretty freaking good. I think. Yeah, I think you go eldest reborn. Well, let's see. Pierce the sky is pretty good. Ah, we also want Yamiya, Yavimaya Chef Shapard, but I think you go with the big ticket item. Unless, I don't know. This, honestly, this kind of does what this does, but instantly, you know? Oh boy, Ape Warrior. If Grun, a lonely king, was kicked, it enters life. Double its power and toughness. I don't know. This is just so expensive. Hmm. And it fights target creature. We got two legendaries. Three legendaries. Well, two legendary creatures. I don't know, dude. I want more creatures. We have one, two, three, four, five. We only have like six creatures. So I'm, right now I'm honestly thinking like Judge Sentinel. We could also do Ape Warrior, but I don't, I don't know. When are we gonna ever have seven mana 
When are we going to have nine mana? That's a lot of mana. Broken Bond. Screw it. Don't at me. Oh, Slimefoot. I like Slimefoot a lot. I'm sorry. Freaking at me in the comments if you don't agree with my Slimefoot pickup. But that's just, that's the kind of man I am. They keep giving me the gosh dang Drudge Sentinel and I'm going to take it. It looks like me too. I'm the little skeleton man. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know, dude. They're giving me the beauty. Well, let's see. If, if you cast a kicked spell. We got some kicks. We have at least two kicks. Right? Something like that. Mmm. Nah, uh, well this is really expensive. I was like, we kind of need more, we need more creatures, and I would like some flying creatures, but this is pretty dang expensivo. Sure, we'll take it. Now we got so many legendaries. Okay. On target saga? Like the... The, um, the book series? Let me guess, the saga is the thing we didn't take, right? Nah, I'm, I want to go Yama Yama. Creature gains reach. You can't block. Seems okay. Maybe more in an artifact type thing. Target creature gets plus two, plus one. It also gains life leak if it's legendary. We do have a lot of legendaries. Yeah, we're gonna take Blessing of Heisenach. Look at the top three cards. You may reveal a creature or land and put it in your hand. Put the rest in your... Okay, I'm, I'm liking that, but I also like this. But, I don't know, dude. Hmm. So right now, I'm thinking... G2 Lava Runner, Adventurous Impulse, or like any of these, honestly. But I, I think we need more cheap creatures to get our big creatures out there. We do end up getting able to... Oh, Navigator's Compass seems pretty good for our specific deck since we need so many, so many lands. But I, I don't know, I like Pierce the Sky, whatever, we'll go with Navigator's Compass. <coughs> If it's legendary, then it fights. We do have, we got so many legendaries. Well, what's our thing looking like? We got a bunch of reds, a bunch of blacks, a bunch of greens. We're looking pretty, pretty equal here. Okay, ancient animals. Now let's hammer home some freaking, some boys. Let's go this. I don't know if we have enough goblins to make this work. If we got two goblins, I'll do it. No, we do not have enough goblins to make that work. Yeah. All right. It's me! Oh, you can't. This is what my character is. It's Jaya. Uh, excuse me. It's actually Jaya. Have you not read up on the lore? Okay, add three, spend this to only cast instant or sorcery, discard up to three cards, and draw that many cards. You get an emblem. This seems like it'd be good. We don't got a lot of... Sp Do we have a lot of spells? Oh, man, you're, you're tempting me, Jaya. But like cast down in Urgos. Even fungal infection though. Skittering Surveyor. Ah, man, this is a tough 
tough pack. This is the problem with doing this in a YouTube series instead of a a Twitch series is I don't get the the updates in real time of what I should do. I don't know. It just it seems too too much. But a lot of good decks I see have a plane block. But I don't know. I think I think I'm going to go with cast down. Either cast down fungal infection or skittering surveyor, maybe even a lot of war thing. I, I'm sad. I don't... Like, you'd think if we take Jaya, maybe these will still be here. Sorry. If you disagree, please feel free to tell me in the comment. I need to know how to improve... How to improve my abilities here and in my opinion i think i'm doing this all wrong anyways i think typically you want to do like two colors and then a splash of another color i might have gone too deep with a three color system you know like i got a black red legendary i got a red green legendary so i don't think this is a splash this is a straight up three color deck so i'm a little nervous oh my god you may put any color, any number of what? I mean, I'm thinking about this right now. This is also pretty good. Well, let's see. You may put any legendary permanent with converted mana cost X. Do we have a single one of those? I don't think so. So it would just be like pay blank mana so next turn you get this much mana i it, it could be good but I, i'm just gonna stick with what i know okay another elf enters the battlefield how many else we got we don't even have any creatures <laughs> um it's okay go with another death bloom it, it's so good it's three mana for a three two that summons a one one you know you don't get better than that untap that creature and it gains haste mm-hmm that could be spicy as long as there are two more instant or sorcery cards if we have like six of them i'll do it it's already looking like it. We got two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we got it. We got to roll with that. Now we need some, in my opinion, some mid range monsters. Because we got really cheap ones. Like a, a pretty good amount of cheap monsters. Like one mana, two mana, three mana. Now I'm looking for four mana. Four mana, five mana. And then we can get up to the six and seven manas. Hmm. Let's go Radiating Lightning, I think. Untapped Heart Creature. This allows us to... Okay, I, I'm, I'm speaking too fast here. The, the reason I'm thinking about get growth is it allows us to cause something like Death Bloom to die. Because you would you would attack with Death Bloom, they would not defend. Then, our turn, then their turn, they would attack, we would untap Death Bloom and either trade or just kill it outright. That kind of thing. This one, target player shuffles up to three target cards from the graveyard into the library, draw a card. When Gaia's Blessing is put into the graveyard from the library, shuffle your graveyard into the library. Hmm. This would, I, I got, I've been milled a few times. This would cause us to never get milled again, basically. I don't know. This seems a little this this feels like it needs a certain kind of deck to roll with it right now in my opinion a lot of these cards are going to get cut anyways because we 
we need to get 40 cards, but that's be that's not even counting the like 20 so mana we're gonna need, you know? All right, we can roll this. Cast kick spells. That seems pretty decent. Maybe just this, honestly. Untap our eh, 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 eh. Let's go with that. Land of War Elves just seems fine to me. Pierce the sky. Nah, you go with Yami Yama Yama, you know? Yamaya Shepherd. This seems like a good card for us. But so does this. Fungal Infection right now is what I'm thinking of. We could also go Lawn of War, which is also pretty good. <sighs> How many greens we got? Yeah, we'll go Lawn of War. War Cry. As if you attack with three or more creatures, you may pay blank. If you do... Oh my god. I mean, you don't have, like, a single flying type. A flying type Pokemon. But we can counter flying with something like this. Yeah, we'll roll that. Let's go with that. Urban Strike. Rampaging Cyclops. Alright. After drafting your final card, any cards that exceed your four times collection limit increase your vault progress. I don't even know what that means. So we need to cut 19 cards. I don't know, dude. I have no idea. Fire Elemental seems a bit much. Well, okay. So our average, I don't know, this seems good, no? This seems like a good set. We have mostly green, then red, then black. <laughs> I don't know. We have a, maybe we over-indexed a little too much on those low cost cards, but. We can we can afford to cut some spells, I think, probably. I don't know about that one. This one seems a little expensive. Maybe not that. Nah, I don't know. That seems pretty good. We have a lot. Like, we want buffs, right? I'm worried where our deck is just going to be really bad. We really have to cut 13 more cards. Yeah, let's get rid Because I don't even know what a saga is. I think a saga is those things that open up and it's like turn one does blank, turn two does blank, turn three does blank. 
the kind of thing. Do we need two of these? I don't know, it seems pretty decent. Since we don't have a single flyer, well, basically not a single flyer, I feel like we need Arbor. Until the end of turn, target land you control becomes the basic land type of your choice in addition to its other types. Okay. We've cut a lot of monsters, right? Like, what, what should the percentage be? It should be like half and half, no? Maybe even more monsters than not? Don't at me. We don't need two of those, I don't think. Maybe not two of those. I don't feel like we need two of those either. I don't know, I like hard removal, you know? You feel me? Put up to one target creature at Planeswalker Cart from your graveyard. <sighs> this seems just so good for the early game. It allows us to just trade for free, basically. Maybe, maybe we're not going to be swarming, but we could have swarm basically with like summoning a bunch of these boys. So it's possible. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we feel. The best thing is in between games, because basically if you ever played Hearthstone, it's the same thing where you do blank amount of games and you keep going until you lose three times. The maximum wins is seven, too, and if you win seven, you get like a, a crap ton of stuff. So if we lose, we can go back, pull from here, and be like, oh, we didn't summon a single monster. Maybe we need to summon more monsters. Cast down is literally just murder, but earlier. How many artifacts or enchantment enchantments are we gonna deal with? I don't know. Let's see. Do we have any duos? We do. This seems necessary. This also seems necessary. Do both these seem necessary. No, maybe we don't need two of these. Okay, only four more. I really hope this does well. <laughs> so, what was the card I cut? It was a card that I want that I didn't cut. That like destroys a target's enchantment. I'm thinking you either get rid of that, or you get rid of the corrosive ooze. No, I guess not. Kicker, search your library for a basic plan. This is basically like what our deck was running around. It was having a poop ton of lands. I 
don't know, man. I don't know what to cut. Maybe you don't need two of those. It's like, I really like Radiant Lightning because it's good if we get Swarm. But we got a lot of buffs, so maybe we won't get Swarmed. Look at these guys. Look at the little boys. The little fungus men. You can't tell me you're going to cut some fungus men. That's gross. Well, what... Whenever you cast a spell, we only have one spell that gets kicked. If we have two kicked spells, I will do it. I do not think we have two kicked spells. Okay. I'm sorry, Halar, the Fire Fletcher. And... Maybe we can cut one, one of these. This is right now 13. This is 18. No, oh, 17, 17. Man, it gotta be like that sometimes. It really do. Okay. Target attacking creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains trample until the end of the turn. Okay. Well, I guess, I guess that's what we're doing. Drag a card to the let's let's change our image. It was built around this boy, it's gonna end around this boy. Alright. Let's play our first our first ever draft game with this abomination of a deck that we've made. That's the woman we almost took. Okay. Well, I already don't like what we got going on here. I already... I'm already scared. We gotta mull that. Okay. Forest. We could roll with this. Potentially. Because these are pretty cheap greenies. We just need one more mana, pretty much. To get, to get rolling. Has multiple lands and spells. We got we got the spells and we got the men, but we don't got multiple lands. But uh, you know it's fine. We got enough ways to make land. We should be okay, I think. Good luck, my friend. Put that on the bottom of the freaking. You don't need that. Ah, oh, he's running a red. What are the chances he's running a red green, black deck? doubt it oh boy okay let's try not to get completely smacked in our first game please red blue aku where's samurai jacku that's me i'm samurai jacku don't summon anything else please i'm a slow i'm a late game deck okay all right We have options. Yes. Things are going good. We got exactly what we need. Now we just need one more. And we can summon Slime for the stay away. Anything Biggie summons, take him out. Mm. 
Oh no. Oh okay. Woo! I, I I thought it was deal two damage to each enemy. Oh, I almost conceded. Okay. So we potentially could enchant this, run it in, but he'll just trade with the with a journey mage. Let's do this, and then attack. I know it may seem stupid. Well, yeah, but we gotta we gotta get some damage on the board. I think maybe I don't know, dude. We probably should have not attacked, cause then we could have stopped him from attacking. But you know, that's that's our card. He took our card. Dude, did we? We should have definitely taken this. This card seems pretty freaking good, if I'm being honest. You know, there's still potential that this guy is worse than us. And if that's the case, it doesn't matter how bad our deck is. We just outplay him with pure statistical ability. I think, honestly, I would Shepherd before I would Stow Away. Sapperd. Sapperd. It's not a Shepherd, Commander. It's a Sapper. Okay. That's fine. Do what you must. I am not afraid. I charge face first. Face first? I charge head first into the heat of battle. Oh, no. This is also very good, but we need some more mana. No attacking. We're not gonna attack this time. We just wanted to let him know we're made of. Let him know that we see this is this is the poker aspect of it. We attacked first to let him know that you know you can't you can't read us. We're not gonna play full defense and we're not gonna play full def full offensive. We're an omnivorous deck. We both eat and we get eaten. No, we both eat and... Oh, no. Well, this seems like a pretty dumb... I'm not gonna lie. Like, no offense, that seems like a pretty dumb card. Because he's just... If he attacks with this, I'm just not gonna defend. And then if he attacks with this, it's dead. So I don't know about that one, Chief. It's gonna be a, a, a yikes from me, dog. A, a Warlord's Fury from me, dog. Yep, I, I see the card. We could also cast down if we really, if we're really feeling frisky. But the only reason I'm not, let's see, let's see what he does. The reason I'm not is because we are so starved for mana right now that by using cast down, if he ends up summoning something bigger next turn, we are screwed. Or maybe not screwed. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about casting down. It, it's it's a trade. Let's see what he does. Let's let's see what he does and plan the counterattack. Get that out of here. I know how red dirt decks work. The lower my health gets, the worse it gets for us. You know, honestly, no, never mind. Get get that out of here. I was thinking, oh, we could just defend and then get the corrosive moves back into our hand. No, no, no. That's not how it works. Yeah, it's a really good card art. Bastion El Deharm. I get it. You don't have to look the... Okay. Well. It, it, he's like... He, he attacked and was like, alright, game's over. I'm gonna go grab some food. Came back, did not realize I had cast that... Oh! I'm highly offended. This is actually pretty good. Yes, please. Mm. 
Next turn, we can get the big boys out. Big boys, come out to play, yay! Honestly, things are looking up. We're, we're a little slow, but watch me go. No, not the crab. Anything but the crab. Oh, crap, as they say. You're really going to attack me? You're really that stupid. Get out of here, Buster Brown. Oh, beautiful. We could eviscerate, but no, no, no. We got options, boys. We got options. Things are starting to come together for old Frick Hydra. Until it all goes down the hill. Boy, trade. I'd like to see you try. I would even run it into here, in my opinion. This guy, he plays slow and methodical. I, I respect that. Personally, I, I like to play a little fast and loose. While it's the opponent's turn, I like to think five steps ahead. But he, he likes to look at those two cards, fold them back and forth, flip them around, flip them upside down. Okay. I'm going to be honest. He's, he's screwed. It's all over for this guy. We're going to start building, amassing our army. Yup. 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 Oh, ev everyone in the crowd is hosed. Yup. No attackers. We gotta build it up. Build up the army. That's the whole point of the green black deck. You just, you, you fill your board with fungal infections. You go to the doctor the next day. They say, sorry, we can't help you. I'm a white mage. Now, in an ideal world, we summon Slimefoot next turn, and we start we start acquiescing. But if need be, we got Eviscerate in the back pocket. Why did this guy exile? Oh, because he counteracted it. I'm a, I'm I'm feeling pretty caught. This thing's got. A, what are you doing, you crazy man? He, he must have another one of these, huh? No, wait, it's not even instant. Get this out of here, bud. What the heck is wrong with you? Use your card. I know you got something. What? What have we done? Oh, that's actually completely fine. Dude, that's so good! What? That was so dumb! I'm thinking of even eviscerating it, but it's okay. Mm. We cut a lava. No, we can't lava runner. We ain't got no hesitation. We ain't got no. What is this song? I ain't got no. Oh, sat sat. We ain't got no satisfaction. Wait, this guy's running three, three also. Also, you're done. You're you're screwed, my friend. So let's get this guy out of the way. You're you're getting eviscerated. Sorry to tell you. Yes. Get that out of here, Buster Brown. Oh, how you like me now, Buster Brown? 
do just do the small trades. Conservative trades. Slimefoot's here to stay. Dude, oh, this is just this is it, scratching that itch. That competitive itch. Three mana deck versus three mana deck. Who will come out on top? Oh. Doesn't have anything. And now? Oh! We got no cards in our hand. What are we gonna do? We can summon more men. I'll summon an even stronger man. Oh, what, what are you gonna trade? What are you gonna trade there, bud? You got nothing to trade. Take the damage to the face and go on with your life. Or concede, cause it's all ogre now, boys. We got the green. We got slime. Put the stove. We got yami bami shepherd. Oh, sorry, did you draw another... Uh, you seem to be a little starved. I also seem to be a little starved, but it doesn't matter. We can summon so many serpents! Dude, trade. I freaking dare ya. I don't care. I still get the damage across and I heal, which is super important. Healing is super important for me specifically because you have a red deck and you can burn me to death. But this forest, this is a rainforest, baby. This don't burn. It's constantly wet. Okay. Interesting. This is the problem here. We don't have any way of stopping a flying boy. He's not even flying. He's just running. Is he gonna just beat us to death with a flying boy? Dude. I dare you. Okay. So unless he gets an enchantment that brings it up to 7-7, seven, seven, we are in the clear. Okay, we're in the clear! It's all good! We're gonna win this turn! We're gonna win. We win this turn, 100%. Dude, you see the beauty of slime put the stove away. Six attackers defend. I dare you. It's all done for you. Let's go. We get our first W. G bush. The bush part is the green grassland monsters we control. Look at that. We have upped our 50 gems in one pack to 100 gems in one pack with that added 2% repeating, of course, bonus pack percentage. Don't look at me like that, Eddie Murphy. That will conclude this episode of Draft Dominaria. If you liked it, thank you. There will be more of these in the coming days with this specific deck until we run out of steam or we run out of W's. Thanks again. That's it.